Well, I was putting the uh, timing side back together, putting the camshaft sprockets on and the engine uh, timing side sprocket, etc. I uh, discovered that there was quite a bit of end float in the crank, so I've taken the primary cover off and come around this side to take a look. And uh, you can probably see I've got the crank um, slid over closest to me, and I'm going to try and demonstrate the end float that we got. We watch the alternator rotor and the stator, and I press with my thumb. That's gone in. Uh, if I put the screwdriver in here, you can see the engine sprocket perhaps wobbling about a bit. And if I lever it some more, that moves the crank back towards me. That's not supposed to move at all. And um, what I suspect and what I hope is that there's a big nut between the back of the alternator rotor and the engine sprocket and I'm hoping that that has come loose and it's just a matter of tightening that up to put things right so uh, I'd better have a look at that next um, and I haven't proceeded any further with the timing side I haven't got the um, camshaft sprockets fully home yet or anything I've got the timing chain on and it's timed but uh, I better find out that I can hopefully fix this just by tightening that big nut um, that bears up against the engine sprocket because if not we've got a problem and it might all have to come apart so uh, I'd better get the alternator rotor off and have a look and see uh, whether that big nut has actually come loose better to catch that now than put it all back together and then find that perhaps the whole engine's got to come apart but I'm hoping it's that nut is loose and uh, just tightening it might be all it needs. I sincerely hope. 